اعوذ باللہ من الشیطان الرجیم بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم In this session, we are going to use the process macro in Smart PLS with categorical predictor variables. Now, let's assume I've got this data and I want to run a process macro in Smart PLS. So, I've got this project. The model type is process. Now let's name it categorical predictor. Save. Now, I'm interested in assessing whether gender has a significant impact on organizational learning so i'm going to put in gender which has got two categories zero and one where zero is male and one is female and i've got organizational learning as my other variable and let's say i've got another variable as well i've got a dv as well So I'm interested in assessing whether gender has a significant impact on organizational learning and organizational performance with organizational learning as mediator. So what I'm going to do is let me hide these indicators as well. Right click, hide indicators, right click, hide indicators. Now I'm going to bring this one here, save it and now calculate and I'm interested in bootstrapping whether or not the paths that I have proposed here are significant or not so I'm going to go to bootstrapping normally 5000 to 10,000 is recommended so I'm going to go for 5000 now bias corrected and accelerated bootstrap let's do two-tailed I'm not sure which gender or haven't proposed that which category of gender will have a higher impact so I'm going to go for these settings and plus start now here are my results so first I'm going to go to path coefficients now you will see some formatting has been changed with the new version but the results remain and the same uh, what you want is obviously on the left with all the details so gender and organizational learning is it significant no it is not significant now here the impact of gender on organizational learning we cannot say that it is significant it is not interpreted as gender impact on organizational learning when you've got categorical predictor variables they are interpreted based on the differences so in this case there is a minus sign here the minus sign here is used to identify the particular category now in this case if it's a minus sign it goes down to the lower category that is the male category so male have a higher organizational learning or perception of organizational learning in comparison to female but is the difference between them significant no it is not significant what if this would have been a plus sign here this would have meant that females have a higher perception of organizational learning in comparison to male and was it or is it significant no it is not significant same is the case with organizational performance now here is a positive sign so although females are perceiving organizational performance to be better in comparison to male the difference in perception is not significant and the direct impact from organizational learning to organizational performance is significant is there a mediation effect let's see no there is no mediation so organizational learning does not mediate the relationship between gender and organizational performance now let's go back and let's change this model a bit and i've got other variables categorical variables as well so i've got job rank but job rank is ordinal so you do not need to convert it into dummy variables so an, an increase in job rank will have a corresponding impact on organizational learning and organizational performance. Now I've got a type variable here as well. So this is the type of bank, public bank or private bank. Now I've got employment, permanent or contract. 
Now, if you've got a variable, categorical variable that has got three or more categories, but there is no order in them. So you will have to create dummy variables for it. In this case, let me change it slightly. Let me add the type of bank here as well. So again, the advantage of using process in smart PLS is that you can have multiple independent variables or you can have multiple dependent variables as well. You can have a model of your own choice. So let me connect it here. Let me connect it here. And let's see if the type of bank has any impact. Bootstrapping and start. Now let's look at path coefficients. Again, type is insignificant as well. Now there is a minus sign here. So public banks were identified with a value of zero. So here the negative sign attributes to the public sector banks. So this means that the employees in public sector banks, they think that organizational learning is better in their banks in comparison to private sector banks. And the same case is with the organizational performance. But is the difference between this perception significant? Well, no, it is not significant. So this is how you can use categorical predictor variables in process using smart PLS. Thank you very much.